So I have no clue about this bus life, van life built thing. I had no skills, no tools, no dad or boyfriend that knew what they were doing. I live on this road where you can barely park your car, so let alone a bus or a van. And yet I own a Mercedes bus and I want to convert it into a home by myself. So I want to share with you how I went from this to this. Yeah, believe me, it took a minute. Just say you have no building skills at all like me you wanted to do van life and you know do it yourself maybe you thought that you would buy your vehicle you were in the bus completely empty it take out all the seats and you run into your first problem right around here this moment the moment you can start the actual building work I mean, yeah, sure, you probably will run into issues here. However, my personal experience of van life is that I ran into issues way before this moment. In fact, the first problem I actually came across was buying the bus itself. Why? Why? A few problematic reasons. One, I actually never bought a vehicle ever in my whole entire life. Two, I had zero mechanical knowledge, and I mean zero mechanical knowledge. Three, Apparently I didn't know anybody else who had any mechanical knowledge, so these issues combined meant that buying my bus was a rather stressful affair. It took me about six months to find the perfect vehicle. Top tips if you're like me and you have zero mechanical knowledge. One, do a bit of research, watch a couple of YouTube videos before you go, learn a couple of technical terms so that hopefully, hopefully, will be less likely to be taken advantage of. That was definitely one of my worries when I was looking for a bus on my own. And my second tip that is probably more useful, you can actually pay the AA to come with you to go and view a vehicle. I felt a lot better once I realised that. Not that I actually did that, but yeah. Third tip, I just wanted to put up <laughs> somewhere <laughs> a few different places of where I actually look for the bus online. I, I didn't know half of these, I had to ask someone. So hopefully this will save someone sometime, maybe. <laughs> So on my personal journey with van life, I was looking for a particular vehicle called a Mercedes Vario, which is basically a bus, but it's not like a big bus, more like a mini bus. Though it's definitely bigger than a mini bus. The Mercedes Vario market is a very quick paced thing. You'll be searching online for a vehicle, find a bus, and within a couple of days it'll be gone. So within the six months of me searching, I actually only visited three. <laughs> three buses in total. The first bus I traveled to Ireland to see it with my friend Elaine for a little bit of moral support and it was a beautiful bus, but it was too rusty. Oh my brows are struggling. <laughs> The second bus wasn't quite the right size. It was a lot wider than I wanted and also it sat very low to the ground. But the third bus I went to go and see, now that was perfect. It was a 2002 Mercedes 614 Vario, a 24 seater minibus priced at £4,000, the ideal back doors that I wanted and room for me to stand up and lie down with ways. She was quite high off the ground and she was just beautiful. <laughs> so I made her mine and I called her Bo. Okay, so now I'm here with my ideal Mercedes bus. Everything is great apart from I have nowhere to park it. Yeah, something I should have thought about before, you might say. Pre planning just isn't really my thing. You will learn this if you follow me on any form of social media, which, by the way, if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, my name is Bus Off. Just in case you wanted to check in real time where I am right now with the build. I don't know when you're going to be watching this. I mean, maybe you'll be watching in a year's time. And hopefully by then I'll be on the road. Oh God, I hope I'm on the road and I'm not still building. So go check out Bus Off, but after this video. Okay, and while we're here, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> the thing that's going to make me the real YouTuber. Please like and subscribe and go and hit the notifications button. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. Oh, Okay, so where was I? Um, oh, yes. So I have this problem that I have my bus, but nowhere to park it. And my bus is five meters long and 190 in width. I'm just gonna put that number into context of an image. So we're talking the same size lengthwise as a long thinned pilot whale, pilot whale, and same size widthwise as a double bed. Head to toe, not side to side. If that makes sense. Head to toe. I find numbers really hard to visualize, so that's mainly more for me. So it's pretty big, and I'll show you the space outside my house. Yes. 
yeah, you ain't fitting a bus anywhere out here. So after about a week of stressing about where I'm gonna park below the bus, I actually get a message from the guy I bought Bo from. So this is Jim and turns out he owns a company called Shred and Butter that convert epic van and bus builds professionally. He has this huge yard where he said I could rent a space from, borrow tools and hire help when I needed it. Winning! <laughs> and with that message, I then solved the next problem. The next problem being, I don't have any tools. Now I can go and borrow gyms from Shred and Butter. Just sorted. Me, on my own, with no mechanical knowledge, no tools, no place to park a large vehicle, now had my ideal bus, a place to park it, and tools to borrow. It really, really felt that everything was just falling into place and suddenly my bus built. Yeah, well, it was gonna be possible. You've officially now watched Bus Off with Josie's first ever YouTube video. This video is long overdue. I don't actually wanna admit how long I've had my bus for. By the way, that's me, Josie. I feel like I haven't actually said my name in this video yet. Right? Better late than never. In the description below, I'm gonna put the make of my bus, links to my social media, links to Shredder Butter, where I rent space from, other links to the original footage that I use in this video. So anyway, if you wanna have a nosy, go check it out. Otherwise, that's it. See you next time.